Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have extract the category name and replace that with the dynamic created input field to edit the record dynamically on the front end. Now, in this, we will complete this section of the front end. So here we have the temp name in which we have stored the name of category. Now what we will do, we will use a value attribute here and declare this temp name here. And now refresh this. And you will see whenever I will click on edit, the text is dynamically inserted in the input field like this okay so here we have the record now what we will do we have to replace this edit with the save button so we will replace this text with save how I will simply replace this by getting its text and value of class so here we have added which is dynamically created copy this go to here the next part to change the edit so this is the edit and I want to change its class so I will say remove class edit and add class save so the class is shuffled now the next phase is to change this text now I will say this dot html and render this here in which I have different icon which we will found later but right now changed the text the text is replaced let's refresh this and see the magic when I will click on save it is dynamically become input field and the edit text is get changed into save it is changed and here you can it is also changed along with that the class is also changed and it's done now the next phase is I have to write an other event on save and what it will do it will get the value from the attribute one first change its class it is for save from the attribute one which is now the input field from the attribute uh, from the td1 children child sorry child dot val so it will get the name from that field now use this in the console and see the result here we have save class okay we have to use children dot val so here we have text and that's it now next what we need to do we need to remove 
the child from here this is the children so we need to replace HTML by the temp name and comment the rest of the things now when I will refresh this click on add it it's become dynamically input field and edit is changed with save and when I will click on save the dynamic field is get removed and text replaced there like it is ASP tools one and click on save so it's saved here now we have to change the save with edit so what we will do we will say we don't need this we will say remove save class and add edit class and replace the saved text with edit and it is done i hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun